Yo, what up? It's Read Your Mind from Urban RCLA, and we're back with another update video on the build series for the Axial Yeti um, kit, the Score Trophy truck. Um, if you've been watching along in the series, you've seen me get up to this point now where we've got uh, all the boom racing upgrades with the Castle Creations Mamba Max Pro SCT uh, 1410 3800 kilovolt battery. You can see it's got the cooling fan on it. Uh, powered by Castle, looks pretty sick. Got the battery tray installed. Very simple, just two screws to get this little piece in there. Then I went ahead, um, if you've been following along, you didn't see me build this. Um, the green obviously are the boom racing upgrades and you can see I've got the uh, sway bar holders and the sway bars themselves and the, the links. I got the silver links to kind of transition into the actual uh, axle here, which is boom racing axle. Um, and here's the battery uh, uh, battery holder for the battery. And I've been playing around with this and this actually just goes kind of like right into these little holes and then you screw it in. So if I put my Max Amp 6500 milliamp battery in there, just like this, um, it actually, there's a little bit of a clearance issue because the, the actual bolts that hold it, these little clamps right here that hold it, actually impede upon the battery itself. So if you're gonna be getting the Boom Racing upgrade parts, you might wanna forego this if you're worried about damaging your battery at all, uh, or you'll just have to be really, really safe about how you're gonna do it. For now, for show, I'm gonna leave it on there. Um, the original battery tray is this plastic piece which just simply slides up and down and is very flat, so that's good. But anyways, I just wanted to give you a quick update. Um, I'm going to continue to finish this, get this back um, roll cage installed, and then hopefully onto the axle. I'm really excited to get to see how this looks. In fact, let me just put it in here real quick, just so you can see. Oops. Come on, get in there. Get in there. So you can see, it actually is gonna start looking really cool. So the green is spaced out nicely across the whole vehicle, so it's not just too incredibly green, but I think it looks really nice. Of course, I have to solder the battery and I have to do uh, the battery connector and I have to do a bunch of other things, but I'm gonna continue working on this. And again, thanks for following along on this build series. I think you, I hope you find it interesting. So we're gonna keep moving and keep getting this thing back together. Okay, now that we've got this whole rear section taken care of, we're gonna go ahead and get started on mounting in the rear axle from Boom Racing. This thing is badass, love it. Um, so, but first I gotta put the um, tubes on there. Don't know really know what that's called, but drive shafts? Yeah, drive shafts. So I'm gonna put those on there and then we're gonna get this thing mounted up and take a look and see how it looks. Okay, I've jumped ahead a little bit because this back section here 
was a lot to deal with. And instead of wasting gigs and gigs and minutes and minutes showing you each and every bolt, I thought I'd just do a summary at this stage of the game because we're getting really, really close, okay? And you can see all the boom racing upgrades. Um, you know, all of these aluminum pieces. The only thing that's really plastic is the drive shaft here, which I'll probably actually have to upgrade at some point because I'm going to be pulling a little more weight. Very simple to install. Everything fit really nicely and really snugly. There was no real hiccups. Um, you know, I still have a lot of questions about the boom racing parts. Like, I have all of these little bushings. They give you like a million bushings and they give you like a ton of extra screws. So I don't know, should I be putting bushings inside here? Should, should I be pushing, putting bushings over there? I don't know, if you've used the Boom Racing kit before, let me know, I'd really be interested to know what, what the, all the bushings are for. Um, but anyways, I had a really great time building it thus far. It's really challenging and it's super fun and it's just starting to come together really nicely. Um, so yeah, that's it for this um, video in the series. Of course, we'll be updating it as we go. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, I'm Read Your Mind, and uh, this is Urban RCLA, and I'm out of here. Yeah.